Hi, my name is Indra Stern Hayworth. I'm exhibiting with uh, three other women at New Zone Gallery in the Klaus Meyer Room, and the name of our show is Creative Essence. I've been a student of the arts as far back as I can remember. I have a BFA from Ohio Wesleyan University. I uh, have been in performance art as well as static and uh, malleable arts and uh, was in the jewelry industry for over 17 years. And after retirement, I went from creating little microscopic pieces for hang off your ears to larger pieces that uh, it's been a rewarding experience. Uh, 2008, I established my studio after retirement and a lot of what I do was sort of a formula developed out of collecting garbage out of the Mackenzie River. I live along the Mackenzie and I do our property and my neighbors to either side, waterfront edge, and found things, wonderful things, ugly things, funny things, but uh, the river and what I have pulled out of there is really kind of a, a background to a lot of what is involved in this show. Now, this piece, called uh, O Tangled Web of Life, after the poem, sort of bespeaks uh, an attitude of mine about living, and it certainly has been uh, qualified as I age. Life is complicated, and uh, <laughs> this bespeaks that visually to my mind. Uh, I, with this show, uh, the women I'm working with have encouraged me to move beyond uh, monochromatic. I was working with natural wood, leaving it natural, and then they pushed me into incorporating color. So this was a huge leap of faith for me to incorporate all those colors. The background piece is maple, and uh, curly maple, and it's been cut on the bias, if you will, and that adds texture. I'm also playing with texture. The frontal piece is bark with uh, old ivy roots, and uh, that is another layer on top of another layer on top of another layer, and paint and coloration is another layer. So it's a multi-layered piece. It's far more complicated visually than it first appears, and uh, so is life. This piece was a gift from the Mackenzie. Um, maple, big leaf maple, grow along uh, our property line, and a lot of pieces fall into the river, and the cold water, the high mineralization, will eventually fill heartwood and uh, harden it up, so it's great to work with. I got rid of all of the brittle and diseased areas, and this is what I was left with and uh, no color, this is all natural. It's sealed, but you can see the variations. There were red tones through here, and hints of purple in here. And this is all Mother Nature at work. So this was a wonderful piece to work on. All my work is found and will sit for two to three years to cure. It's naturally air cured. I don't do any artificial drying, and I want to make sure that it is set and finished all its cracking and splitting before I start working on a piece. Back to color, and another uh, piece that was encouraged to incorporate. Uh, this piece is called Water. I have various themes. One theme is dealing with elements. Uh, another is dealing with social issues and environmental issues. But this one deals with the elements, and it's water. And uh, it's primarily bark, but there is some 
wood in it as well. And uh, I let this cure for over five years before I knew what I was going to do with it. And inset, there are stones that are all of a green tone that I pulled out of the Mackenzie River. So I've inset stones. And this was months of dealing with color, mixing greens and blues, going out, staring at the river, watching it change color with the sky, clouds, whatever, and coming to a point where I was comfortable with it. Having been in the jewelry industry, I sort of slipped into, and they're very subtle, I set antique Czechoslovakian glass beads into various holes all throughout this piece. So it's pretty nuanced. If the right light hits it, you'll see a gleam. But uh, this is water. Not always serious. Whimsy comes to play a lot of times in my creative process. And uh, a couple years ago, it was getting close to back to school. I don't have any kids at home anymore. I get news about my grandkids and their excitement about getting on the bus as well as traffic locally. You have to plan your timing because there's one school and only one egress on 126 there at Walterville. And if you don't plan your time, you get stuck behind a bus. And so thus wheels on the bus. I looked up the color for school bus and uh, a lot of these pieces are actually burn pieces from the Holiday Farm fire, but put it all together in sort of a esoteric statement on a school bus. Wheels on the bus. The bee's knees, an old saying from way back when in the 20s and 30s. This is actually wasp nest and these are all convoluted pieces. Some of them burned uh, pre-holiday farm fire but uh, threw in the yellow for the striping on the bees. Roka Walsh's pieces are mixed media. Photography is the base, and she manipulates her imagery to evoke remarkable depth and spirituality. Uh, this piece, the Sentinel, started with a simple tree, but there's also, very subtly at the top, a crow. And they're generally watching us. I encourage you to come down and see a vibrant collection of remarkable artwork that is blended together either through color or thematically. And please join us on July 28th, Friday, between 4 and 8 for a closing Meet the Artist reception. We'd love to see you. Thank you.